Welcome everyone to My Weight World TV. I'm Dr. Brenda, MD. Our topic today is aging and exercise. Remember to check with your doctor prior to starting any new exercise program, especially if you are a man over 40 or a woman over 50. If you have heart or lung disease, asthma, arthritis, or osteoporosis, if you experience chest pain or shortness of breath with exertion, or if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or high cholesterol. On that note, today I have Scott White in the studio. He is our certified nutritionist and highly sought after personal trainer. He is also a member of the Board of Advisors for My Weight World. Welcome, Scott. How are you doing, Brenda? Very good. Um, today we're gonna talk about aging and exercise. And I know as a physician, as we get older, our muscles get weaker. But from a personal trainer point of view, what happens to our muscles as we age? Well, for example, if I had a new client come in that was older, you know, 60 to 80 years old, they're very deconditioned and their muscles are very weak and they've atrophied over the years because they haven't done anything. They haven't used their muscle, you know, you lose it or use it or lose it philosophy, right? right. And so uh, when they first start exercise, they'll have a co-contraction and they'll start moving. So it'll feel really awkward for them and they'll be, it feels like they're kind of out of control because they're not trained in that movement or that motor pattern and so they have to develop and get more trained and over time they'll develop that movement pattern and be able to have a lot more control and also develop more muscle mass over time that will give them a lot more balance and stability it just takes a while you know because if you have an exercise in a long period of time you're going to atrophy and your muscles are going to be brittle and weak and not be at their full capacity how about if you, is it ever too late to build muscle mass? No, it's not. There's studies out there where they've had 80 to 90 year olds who've never exercised and they come in and do as little as like one set of uh, 15 exercises per week mm -hmm. and they've shown an increase in muscle mass. Awesome. And so it's, yeah, it's phenomenal. So it's never too late. Start right away, right. start exercising, start developing your muscle mass because it's only going to help aging be a lot better and be able to last longer because of course, the biggest thing as we age, typically, I'm sure you know about this with falls in older individuals where they fall and they'll break their hip. Mm -hmm. It's not the fact that the fall was so much damaging, but it was that time in the hospital in the bed where their muscles completely atrophied. And so when they got out, they were so much more weaker and instability happened and so it had an even higher risk for injuries. Right. How what about endurance with our age? How does that change? Well, yeah, as we age and we don't do anything, of course, our heart doesn't beat as and isn't as strong and so you're going to fatigue quicker but of course as we do exercise and we do do more endurance cardiovascular training you know exercises that will help our endurance will continue to be able to last longer and maintain mm -hmm. um, more endurance over time mm -hmm. what happens to our balance and flexibility i know you touched on it but a little bit more in detail the balance of an older person or the flexibility? Yeah, so an older individual is typically a lot more unstable right. and their flexibility also, we lose flexibility as fast as 24 hours. So a lot of wow. people get very tight uh -huh. and from sitting all day in our regular work activities or whatever we're doing, they're not very functional and so they're really tight and then they're unstable from a lack of muscle right. and the lack of a uh, motor uh, recruitment and within the muscle cells itself and so they tend to fall more and not be able to stabilize if they step off a curb or hit a rock and they have to balance right. that's when they can fall over and right. of course lead to a you know End much bigger hospital, injuries right. exactly and, hip, right. and so as somebody exercises mm -hmm. and does maybe some balance training or mm -hmm. just develops more muscle mass mm -hmm. their body will become more stable because they'll have more strength to support themselves mm -hmm. and then of course if they flex or stretch their muscles, they're gonna have more movement and overall flexibility that will give them much of a better feel and longevity with their life where they can move and do movements. Like for example, I've had somebody and they were an older individual and he started exercise and he was like, the biggest thing this has done for me is enabled me to actually get myself up from the toilet without having to lift up. Wow. And it was the most rewarding thing I've heard because it's like, you know, it wasn't 10 pounds fat loss here right. and there, but they got m much more functional in their everyday life and they were able to do just the little things that mattered so much as opposed to like, we, we take advantage of those things. Right. But as we age, it's so important to right. have that 
capability of being able to move and function and stabilize our bodies during certain movements as simple as getting in and out of a car or just squatting down or getting up from something if you do kind of fall. Right. Um, does exercise help our mind stay young? Well, I believe it does. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, I may be biased, but right. you know, it does release endorphins and you feel better. Mm -hmm. And you also, as time goes on, you may lose a little weight, you may get stronger. It makes your life a lot easier. And that should inspire yourself and get a better mood. I mean, there's research out there with serotonin levels and how things react in the body and with exercise and movement. You know, exercise is something most people think is this dreading task. Well, right. exercise can be any activity. It could be right. fun. It could be dancing. It could be, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be something strenuous in the gym. Right. We look at exercise, but if you really look at it, it's so much broader. It's anything that you're doing to be active. The right. thing with the gym is it keeps things biomechanically safe and right. secure for a person who could be out of control or at risk. And so we make it very safe for them and right. so they develop those stabilizing muscles, the musculature, and so then they can go play soccer with their grandkids or right. move or pick up um, pots and pans out of a high right. cupboard. Right, or just go to the bathroom. Like exactly, right. exactly. How much exercise is enough? You know, as much as you can commit. You know, you don't want to do too much. You don't need to do seven days a week for two hours. Yeah. You know, a little as an hour three times a week. You can get benefits as 15 minutes for a few times a week. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be, you know, hours of time in the gym that you spend. It just has to be a little bit to commit to doing some resistance training, some cardiovascular training, so your body's benefiting from a endurance and cardiovascular standpoint, as well as from a resistance, so you're stressing your, your bones and your muscles to create that growth and develop more stabilization, do some balance and some flexibility. So you're adding a mixture of everything to get all the benefits of exercise. Right. So the bottom line, don't use it, you lose it. Exactly. <laughs> right? If you do it, you'll feel good. Mm -hmm. You'll age well, you feel better, have a happier mood, right? I agree. All right, well, thank you, Scott. Thank, thank you, Brenda. You. Okay, and please tune in again to My Weight World TV so we can help you reach your goal with our community. I'm Dr. Brenda, MD, and thanks for watching.